Hey YouTubers, welcome to my channel. This is JD, and we're revisiting this uh, bottom foot of the sewing machine of the big blue LZ1, and we're going to remove this uh, foot right here, the bottom feed. Take these two screws out. Using a small screwdriver here, and we're going to loosen these screws like so. You take both of them out to remove the plate. You see on the inside here, there's two small screws in there. They have to be removed. And you want to use something like this with a smaller bit to get those screws out. Got this little ratchet tool and work the screws out inside there. Like so. I'm turning the head like this, with the screw in there. I'm doing the screw for the bottom plate. I'm doing the other, I'm doing the other screw here like that. This will lift right out once we get that I'm done. Still a little tight on there. Now we just take it out and we've got the plate in our hand. A little magnet device to put your screws on so you don't lose them or a little ball on your tools. So I'm running my finger along the top edge of this. We've got quite a bit of edge we have to knock down. And we do that on a, we could do that on a flat stone or on, on a wheel. This variable speed stone, put our safety glasses on. Sorry for the wiggle here. And we're gonna turn the stone to the side like this. And we're gonna use the side of it, okay, to run this plate along it, like so. So like this, I'm going nice and flat. Turn it around. You might want to use a pair of pliers to do this because it does get warm. But if you do it a little bit at a time, you'll be able to have it cool down. So, like that, we do that. So, we smoothed it down, okay, on both sides and did this edge right here. And we got this smooth piece of leather here. What we want to do is want to press it down and see if we get any markings on the leather, okay some pressure on it like that you're getting still getting some markings there see right here and here so we have to smooth it some more so we smoothed it on both sides here and in the center let's give it a little test here press it down on here that's good that's good so it's going to move the material along still because it still has a little bit of edge here, okay, but it's not really super sharp. So we're going to install it back in the machine and uh, run a test piece of leather. We got the plate back in and we use these little tools here. Um, on the inner plate you may want to just use your fingers and the bit. And if it drops down it's okay, it usually drops inside the box so don't worry about it. And then tighten up with the torque wrench here uh, not too tight you know just enough and don't overdo it so now on to the testing this is about three ounce leather piece under here doubled over put the foot down and uh, we do a real slow here let's see feed it through okay so we're looking at this now we just ran it through here and that's the top where it's rubberized, and this is the bottom, okay? That looks darn good to me. That uh, went through nicely, didn't leave any marring, if any, and um, it's all set now. And you can conversely do this to the top feet if you want, if you don't rubber coat it. And uh, <clears throat> it takes some doing, but if you file it down, to get it and take it away there it won't bite into your leather when you go to sew so I want to show you this this is an update from doing the coating on the bottom coating on the bottom didn't last that's why we we uh, filed it down on the uh, stone so I hope this helped you I hope you find this video interesting I'm sorry I stumble along the way sometimes but um, that's just me folks 
and have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching.